Okay, so we got the uh, we got the sign here. All right, we got our uh, prop, our planetary gear set set up for uh, the parade tomorrow. We got to do some cleaning up on this. Yeah, it's got some rough edges, and I put a little grease on it to try to get things going here. And uh, we'll just uh, we got her hooked up to the battery pack here. We'll plug her in once, and uh, we'll take a look at it here. Okay, you see here, we it got her running. It's a little rough, a little bit noisier than what I thought it was going to be. You have a few problems when you build this stuff to to this size, is that your tolerances, I think, are actually a little easier to deal with on a smaller scale than on a big scale like this. But I had my amp probe here hooked around the wire going to the motor. And uh, just to look out here, we see we got a fairly, this five second sweep time. Where you see the peaks here, you can see that uh, it's probably just a little bit of binding yet. When I first started it, we were peaking probably close to 10 amps. Our peaks now are down to about 5 amps. So running it a while here, I think, worked out some of the roughness. And uh, I'll get this cleaned up and uh, sand it down. I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I, I don't think I'll get it painted by tomorrow, but I can get it cleaned up a little bit. You can tell the what I did was uh, I got the gears. What I did was I put plexiglass on both sides of the gears and that's what uh, keeps things from falling out here. There's no no support for the planetaries and then the sun gear is just running off this motor here and that's basically our axle for the for the sun gear. That's actually the thing that worried me the most was getting because you have to find the center of this gear and we didn't machine that out like we should have when we when we first when we when we cut the gear we should have found it the dead center of the of the gear right away so I was a little worried about First of all, finding dead center of the sun gear for the uh, for the motor, and then you have to locate, you have to put the sun gear uh, pretty much as close to the center as you can of your ring gear, so that uh, you're not pushing things out too much or binding. But we got the right amount of tolerance, I think, between and our wood that uh, we've had it running here for about an hour now, and. Hasn't shown any problems. The only problems is I see wood chipped in a couple of spots, but I'm not too worried about it. It smoothed out quite a bit from when it first started. So I think this makes pretty good parade float, pretty good prop for a parade float. We'll get her cleaned up and eventually probably get it painted. I don't think I'll get that done by tomorrow. But and then over here we see uh, uh, we get the signs laying down yet. I'll stand up on the ladder here so you can see it. If I don't fall. Uh, transmission specialist, repair, rebuild, reprogram, and then as sort of an added thing, we got TPMS light, airbag light, ABS light, and check engine light. And we'll probably get some kind of message on here yet that uh, for diagnostics, either that or I'll move this over to my diagnostic sign. So, or I'll probably remake these emblem. This is actually a vinyl. We're getting we're getting higher tech now. We're, instead of uh, painting our letters, we're we're using we're cutting vinyl and then sticking it to the to the wood board. So this is the sign here. She's on uh, both sides. We'll prop that up on a trailer. Decorate. I think we got a couple of 09 Chevy trucks out there. We'll decorate one up, and uh, that'll be the parade float. If I can, I'll take a picture of it tomorrow if uh, we get everything going. So okay, well, just show you some ideas here of what to do for advertising. Uh, I just kind of like to go with something that's a little bit more visual, something that's got moving parts in a parade float rather than something that's just uh, stationary. It's always nice to have something to get people's attention if you can. If it if it collapses and fa fails during the parade, oh well, I don't think it will though. It seems to be, as noisy as it is, it seems to be fairly dependable. So I guess that's about it.